besides being considered two famous Hollywood movie stars. Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio are two tycoons who have accumulated a lot of money during their careers. But have you ever stopped to wonder about which one of them leads the most luxurious life? In this video, you will watch a close battle between Brad Pitt versus Leonardo DiCaprio. So then, let's get to the fight! Before we get started, I challenge you. You have to click on subscribe and activate notifications check the option all. But you have to do that in less than 5 seconds, you got it? And if you can, write in the comments hashtag about subscribe. Alright, let's get started. Round 1 Malibu Mansions Both celebrities like to buy mansions, especially those in Malibu, but which of the two will own the most expensive residence in the area? Brad Pitt, for example, owns a beachfront property on a huge plot of land surrounded by mountains and trees, with several other mansions in the vicinity. The interior of the property is about 4,000 square feet, with large rooms and having a modern and sophisticated architecture. This beach house was supposed to be a refuge that Brad Pitt used to go to when he wanted to get rid of stress. And according to the sources, the property was put up for sale for about $13,750,000. Leonardo DiCaprio, on the other hand, is not far behind. He has, for example, owned a very sophisticated beach bungalow that has incredible views of the Pacific Ocean and a private beach to relax on. Built in 1950, the house is about 1,700 square feet and has graceful aspects, making this the perfect place to enjoy the vacations with great tranquility. Among its most relevant areas are the living room, a dining area for eight people, and a kitchen with good utensils for preparing meals on a daily basis. The house also has three uniquely styled bedrooms, with the master suite having a small sitting area and sliding glass doors that lead to a lovely deck. The place also has a larger deck facing the beach, which offers incredible views of the sea, where you can rest sunbathing on the deck chairs or relax in the hot tub. According to media reports, the actor sold this prime location property for $10,300,000 in 2021, although he had initially listed the house for $11 million. Leonardo DiCaprio has also had another residence in the city, this time on Malibu Colony Road, which has 2,600 square feet of floor area, as well as six bathrooms and six charming bedrooms. The property was purchased by the actor for $6 million in 2002, until he sold it for an incredible $17,350,000. Upping the price, Leonardo DiCaprio also owns a 1.7-acre plot of land near the ocean in Paradise Cove, where there is only a small cottage. The property belonged to Ridley Scott, but Leonardo bought it to build a new mansion, allegedly paying $23 million. The actor is also believed to have had another home that was sold in 2009 for $7,400,000, and in 2021, he purchased a mansion in a private area for $13,800,000. And because Leonardo owns more real estate in Malibu, he wins this round by a wide margin. Point to him! Round 2 Vehicles when it comes to enjoying nice vehicles, the two actors don't seem to be skimping out at all. But which one of them has the most expensive garage? Leonardo DiCaprio, for example, has already been spotted driving a Toyota Prius, one of the cheapest electric vehicles on the market, with the price around $32,000. Upping the ante, he has also been seen getting into a Polestar 2, another even more modern 100% electric vehicle, which can cost upwards of $50,000 for a brand new model. Going up in price, Leonardo DiCaprio has already been seen driving an Audi Q8, a sophisticated SUV from the German automaker, whose newer vehicles can top $75,000. The actor has also been seen driving a Volvo XC90 T8 Hybrid, another very comfortable SUV that is ideal for everyday use and it is no wonder that its price can reach over $80,000. The actor also owns a Range Rover Vogue, and it has been even reported in the media that he had an accident hitting another smaller car, but luckily no one was hurt. The vehicle the actor was driving is a very versatile SUV, which depending on the year and model, can cost around $95,000. 
In the same price range, Leonardo also owns a Tesla Model S, a super technological car full of digital facilities, besides having a huge range, being able to travel up to 405 miles with a single battery charge. And maybe that is why this dream car of many people is valued at $100,000. Another beautiful car that the actor has been seen using was a Fisker Karma Hybrid, a beautiful vehicle equipped with a powerful engine whose price can reach over $110,000. He has also been spotted with his Porsche Cayenne Hybrid, a rugged SUV where newer models can top $135,000. And on the internet, there is a lot of speculation that Leonardo DiCaprio's car is a Tesla Roadster, an electric super sports car that is considered one of the fastest in the world, being able to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in an unbelievable 1.9 seconds, reaching a top speed of 250 miles per hour. And it is no wonder that its price exceeds the $200,000 mark. Brad Pitt, in turn, has owned several vehicles too, such as a $30,000 Jeep Cherokee, a $35,000 Chevrolet Camaro SS, a $43,000 Lexus UX, a $50,000 Mercedes-Benz E350, a $60,000 Chevy Tahoe, a $70,000 Audi Q7, a $75,000 Lexus LS 460F Sport, a $77,000 Chevrolet Suburban, a $80,000 BMW Hydrogen, a $95,000 Cadillac Escalade, a $105,000 Tesla Model S, a $140,000 Tesla Model X, a $160,000 Mercedes-Benz G63. According to some sources, it is speculated that his ex-wife Angelina Jolie even gave him an Aston Martin Vanquish, a super sports car made for those who like speed. The vehicle is equipped with a V12 engine capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.8 seconds. And it is no wonder that the price of this machine can exceed $300,000. Another one of Brad Pitt's passions is his luxury motorcycles, and it's no wonder that he has been spotted riding several bikes that are worth a fortune, such as a $13,000 Nuda 900R, a $16,000 MV Augusta Brute Ale 800, a $30,000 Ducati, a $40,000 Zero Engineering 9, a $100,000 Shinya Kimura Custom, a $100,000 Rook WCC 140 CFL Custom, a $100,000 Jesse Rook KTM Custom, a $200,000 Indian Larry, and even an unbelievable $300,000 Ecos Titanium Series XX. And since he has a more luxurious garage, Brad Pitt easily wins this round. One point for him. Round 3. Watches. When it comes to dressing well, these two handsome men do not skimp when it comes to putting together their looks. But which one of them has the most luxurious collection of watches? DiCaprio, for example, has been sporting the following pieces. A $5,000 tag Hoyer Carrera a $9,000 Tag Heuer Monaco, a $8,000 Breitling Chrono Avenger, a $11,000 Tag Heuer Professional 1000 from, and even a $180,000 Patek Philippe Nautilus. Meanwhile, Brad Pitt has been seen wearing such jewelry, including a $5,000 Breitling Premier 42 Norton, a $25,000 Rolex Explorer, a $37,000 Rolex Daytona Zenith, a $40,000 Patek Philippe Ellipse, a $49,000 Patek Philippe Complications, a $50,000 Cartier Tank A Guichet, a $70,000 Rolex GMT Master II, a $180,000 Patek Philippe Nautilus. And since Brad Pitt has already been spotted wearing more distinct watches, he wins this round. Point to him. Round 4 over-the-top luxuries. Being two such successful actors, it is clear that they have enough money to buy almost anything they want. But which one has the most extravagant expenses? Leonardo DiCaprio, for example, is passionate about art, and not without reason it is speculated that he has spent a true fortune on exclusive pieces, such as a $38,000 painting by Jean-Pierre Roy, a $100,000 guitar by singer Bono, $600,000 on the original piano from the 1942 movie Casablanca, 
and even an unbelievable $3 million on the original shoes from the 1939 movie The Wizard of Oz. Leonardo DiCaprio has been seen several times with his girlfriends aboard super yachts. One of the boats he has been seen using was the one known as Vava 2, a 315 feet long super yacht, capable of impressing anyone by its size. And as reported in the media, the yacht is valued at around 110 million pounds, and to rent it for a week, it is estimated that it costs around $700,000. But it is speculated that the most luxurious yacht the actor ever used was the one known as Topaz, a yacht owned by Sheikh Mansour, who owns the Manchester City soccer team. The super yacht is 482 feet long and valued at around $400 million, which must have probably cost a few million dollars to rent it. Brad Pitt, for his part, is not far behind. The actor has already received the helicopter as a gift from his ex-wife. The actor got one of the Augusta Westland A109 AMK2 models, an aircraft with capacity for up to eight passengers, costing his ex-wife about $1,600,000. Another aircraft that Brad Pitt is speculated to have once owned is a Supermarine Spitfire, a single-engine fighter plane that was used extensively during World War II. And according to some sources, the actor is estimated to have paid around $3,300,000 for it. One of the activities that he and his ex, Angelina Jolie, enjoy doing with their children and that only a few people in the world have access to, is cruising around on super yachts. They have already been spotted, for example, enjoying the luxury yacht Model Ghost 2, which is an impressive 120 feet long. The vessel is capable of carrying up to 110 guests, as well as accommodating up to 12 guests in the five spacious suites. The decor of the super yacht is impressive, looking very much like a five-star hotel, with two large outside decks for dining rooms and even a hot tub where one can relax in total privacy. And to rent this vessel for one week, you have to pay up to $150,000, a high price that is justifiable considering that the yacht is worth $7 million. Some sources also speculate that the former couple bought a mysterious $250 million yacht. But there are no definite records of whether they have actually acquired it, or whether it is just hearsay. And because it is not certain whether he purchased this yacht, we will consider this round a draw. Both of them get a point. Round 5 Mansions in Los Angeles the two actors don't skimp when it comes to mansions, but which one of them has the most expensive properties in Los Angeles? Leonardo DiCaprio, for example, owns a Spanish-style residence located in Silver Lake that is just over 3,500 square feet in size, with four bedrooms and four stunning bathrooms. Leonardo DiCaprio bought the house for 608,000 pounds, however decided to list it for sale in 2018 for about $1,700,000. Another property he had was a residence on Red Oak Drive, which has an old architecture and was recently renovated. The property that was built in 1926 is 4,600 square feet and has a clean style and beautiful wood floors. The main living room has high ceilings that give the place a greater sense of spaciousness and also has a large fireplace and custom seating for the residents' comfort. In addition, the residence has eight bathrooms and five luxurious bedrooms, which have unique features to welcome residents in great comfort. Outside, there is a sitting area near the trees, a balcony dining setting, and a large patio for relaxing and recreation, where there is also a luxury pool with separate spa. According to some sources, Leonardo DiCaprio sold this property in 2022 for $4,900,000, despite initially asking for $5,750,000. Another property the actor owns in Los Angeles is a two-story, Spanish colonial-style house located in Los Feliz that he purchased for his mother. The house dating from the 1920s is over 4,900 square feet and has beautiful Renaissance architecture that makes every aspect of this property unique. The main entrance has a beautiful staircase, while the living room has a ceiling with high wooden beams, and the house has another more formal room for receiving guests, which stands out for its period decoration. There's also a dining area with a custom wood ceiling, while the movie room is ideal for relaxing and entertaining. The place also includes other amenities, such as a gym, a very elegant office, and five luxurious bathrooms. In total, there are four rooms of different designs in the residence. Heading outside, the half-acre property is surrounded by natural landscaping and features a terrace seating area with incredible views at your disposal. 
According to some sources, this residence belonged to actor Jesse Tyler Ferguson until Leonardo DiCaprio bought it for $7,100,000. The star's most relevant estate in Los Angeles, meanwhile, is in the Bird Streets neighborhood in the Hollywood Hills and is 4,500 square feet in size. The house was bought in 1994 for $4 million until the actor bought another one next door, which once belonged to Madonna, for $2 million. And more recently, he bought another property from his neighbors for $10 million. Brad Pitt, on the other hand, also owns beautiful mansions in the region. The actor's residence is located on a huge 6,500-square-foot plot on a block that is surrounded by trees, providing plenty of tranquility and privacy. Although not much information is available about this property, it is known that the property was purchased in 1994 for about $1,700,000 when Brad Pitt was still married to Angelina Jolie, but that after several renovations made by them, it is now estimated at around $5,400,000. Until 2006, for example, while he was married to actress Jennifer Aniston, they would live together in a mansion in Beverly Hills in California one of the noblest locations in the city, where many other celebrities live. The huge residence sits on a three-acre lot, more than enough space to provide all the privacy that Hollywood celebrities love so much. This property that belonged to the couple was built in the 1930s and to this day maintains all the similar architecture that was used at the time. The interior of the house is quite large, with over 11,800 square feet of floor space, divided into five large bedrooms and 13 luxurious bathrooms. The mansion is known to have several pleasant and sophisticated rooms, having, for example, a tennis court to have some fun, a beautiful outdoor pool with several lounge chairs, a children's playground for the children to play in, a retro kitchen completely equipped with state-of-the-art equipment and covered with heated marble floors, a gourmet area with its floors made from 200-year-old wood imported from France. A dining room with a table with the capacity for up to 20 guests. A stylish bar with a darker color palette and is equipped with a projector that enables it to transform into a comfortable movie theater. In addition to many other things that only exist in mansions of this category. But we can't forget the master suite, which is simply huge and super comfortable, being equipped with a fireplace and even a TV built into the ceiling that pops up in the room whenever you want. Still on the same lot as the house itself, there is a beautiful two-story, fully furnished guest house that is surrounded by huge windows that provide a beautiful view of the tennis court. And to give you an idea of the price of this property, in 2006 the actor couple sold it for about $22,500,000, but recently it was put up for sale for about $50,000,000. And because Brad Pitt owns more expensive mansions in the area, he easily wins this round. One point for him. Round 6 Other Properties One of the things that actors seem to like to invest their money in is real estate, owning an extensive real estate portfolio. But which of them owns the most expensive properties? Leonardo DiCaprio, for example, has a charming home in one of the most sought-after areas of the city of Palm Springs, California. Built in the mid-century, the actor's home is over 7,000 square feet in area and has a total of six bedrooms, along with eight stunning bathrooms and many other amenities. After buying it, Leonardo DiCaprio made it go through a series of renovations to make the place even more luxurious. Today it is possible to stay in the house by paying up to $4,500 per night, and the actor purchased the property in 2014 for $5,320,000. The actor doesn't turn his back to nice apartments either. One of the buildings he has lived in is located in New York City's Greenwich Village. The luxury unit has three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms, and the actor sold it in 2016 for $8 million, despite having initially bought it for $10 million. Another apartment that Leonardo DiCaprio owns is two units that have been combined at Two River Terrace. Although there are no records of the units, it is known that the place has 4,900 square feet of total area and that the star made two transactions to acquire the apartments, totaling an expense of $11,700,000. Leonardo DiCaprio also owns a 104-acre island paradise in Belize, known as Blackador Cay. 
The actor bought the island in 2005 for the princely sum of $1,750,000 and in recent years has begun a project to build an eco-resort on the site, as well as villas that are 100% powered by renewable energy, and it is believed that the price for these properties will be in between $5 million to $15 million each. Brad Pitt for his part, while married to actress Angelina Jolie, is known to have owned a residence in the historic French Quarter area of New Orleans in Louisiana. The house that belonged to the couple of actors was built in 1830 and maintains all the colonial architecture of the 19th century, having a facade with railings where Brad Pitt has been spotted a few times interacting with his fans. The interior of the residence has an antique but very luxurious decoration, with super exquisite furniture, giving it a feeling of taking a trip back in time. And according to some sources, the couple's property is about 7,600 square feet and was sold in 2016 for about $4,900,000. Another property that Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie owned while they were together is a huge farm located in Provence in southeastern France. The giant estate covers 1,235 acres, with much of the land designated for growing grapes for the production of the acclaimed Miraville Red and Rose wines. Built in the 17th century, the country house has an impressive 35 rooms, much like a medieval castle. It was there that the couple celebrated their marriage in an intimate way in 2014. But besides being a huge luxury, the property is also an investment, since the century-old winery produces up to 150,000 bottles a year. And the large castle, bought in 2008 for about $60 million, is going through negotiations after the former couple's divorce. And since he has a more expensive real estate portfolio, Brad Pitt wins this round. One point to him. Round 7. Fortune. Being two famous Hollywood actors, it is clear that they have made a lot of money throughout their careers. But which one of them has amassed the most net worth? Brad Pitt, for example, had his salary for each production increased as his films became more successful and his name became more and more known in the film industry. To get an idea of values, it is estimated that he received about $6,000 for Thelma and Louise, $500,000 for California, $4 million for Say 7 and $10 million for Sleepers, $17,500,000 for Fight Club, $20 million for Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and we cannot forget that Brad Pitt has his own production company called Plan B Entertainment, which has produced several films such as Troy, World War Z, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Moneyball, among many others. Although no one knows exactly how wealthy he is, according to some sources, Brad Pitt is estimated to be one of the richest actors in Hollywood, with a net worth around $300 million. Similarly, DiCaprio's salary grew as his films became more successful and his name became more and more known in Hollywood. To get an idea of the figures here, it is estimated at the beginning of his career, he received about $75,000 for Gilbert Grape, $150,000 for The Quick and the Dead, $1 million for The Basketball Diaries, and up to $2,500,000 as a fixed paycheck for Titanic, a film that was so commercially successful that a small percentage of the profits made him up to $40 million. From that point on, Leonardo DiCaprio's fee grew exponentially, with him receiving $10 million for Gangs of New York, $20 million for Catch Me If You Can, $20 million for The Aviator, $25 million for The Wolf of Wall, $30 million for Don't Look Up, and an unbelievable $59 million for Inception, because his contract also gave him a good percentage of the profits. And all this gigantic salary is just a reflection of all the box office success that their movies make. To give you an idea, if you add up all the box office earnings from all the films in which DiCaprio has played a role in, they are estimated to have made over $7 billion at the worldwide box office, which justifies him getting a slice of all that money. And even though nobody knows exactly how wealthy DiCaprio is, according to some sources, Leonardo DiCaprio's net worth is estimated to be around $300 million. And because they both have the same net worth, we will consider this round a draw. One point for both. At the end of this battle, we have three points for Leonardo DiCaprio against six points for Brad Pitt, making him the winner of this battle.
but if you believe that there are still other arguments to defend either one of the two, make sure to write your best justification down below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.